Hi there. I'm building a mister. So what is that, and how can you build one? Let's take a look. The Mister Project is an FPGA hardware cloning project for classic gaming platforms. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Array, and to my extremely non-technical understanding, it's basically a microchip that can impersonate other chips. It's the technology that powers such popular vintage gaming devices as the Super NT from Analog and the AVS from Retro USB. So how do you get the correct FPGA for this? Well, that's surprisingly easy. This project runs around the DE10 Nano, a tiny computer made for, among other things, helping university students learn coding and engineering. This has a Cyclone 5 i9 FPGA on it, which is exactly what's needed. A dude named Sorglig is the one who took this and really ran with it, creating cores for classic game systems, computers, and arcade boards. The project was limited initially to just the Amiga and Atari ST, hence MIST. It continually grew in scope to become MISTER. But Sorglig's earliest stuff on GitHub for this project goes back years, so why did no one seem to be aware of it until 2018? The answer seems to be the right people didn't know about it. The growing popularity seems to point to the person I heard about it from, Smoke Monster. And when he started spreading the good word, folks like Bob from RetroRGB.com and others started talking about it, and now, well, there's a lot more folks talking about it. So how do we get this set up? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Okay, so here we are. This is what you need to do a basic setup on the Mister. And I'm gonna apologize right now for the sound quality here. Um, I've got Smoke Monsters uh, Discord set up on my computer, so there might be a message tone. The fan is still on because I don't want to start sweating like a pig here. There's police outside. Um, and I'm using my lav mic, which I don't usually use for videos anymore. I usually use my road mic, which is nicer, but um, I did not want to have a mic stand in front of me while I was trying to put this together. So I'm actually going to show you putting this together best I can, just because um, I haven't found any videos of anybody actually physically assembling this thing. You know, I don't have the ROM, uh, sorry, the RAM um, board yet. I ordered it from Arcade Paradise. I ordered everything else from Amazon. So that's not here, but you can still play a lot of games on this thing. And I'll show you some stuff once we get it put together. But this is the basic stuff of what you need um, to assemble a mister. The main thing you need is this, the DE10 Nano. <clears throat> which is, you know, it's for universities, which is why I think it's so cheap. This is 130 bucks. Sometimes you can get it for even less. So you get a quick start guide in here. What's in the box? The board, the quick start guide, some USB cables. Um, I think there's an, a micro SD card with eight gigs on it. I've got a bigger one that I also don't have that yet. demo board. There you go. And there she blows. Here are USB cables. We got our power supply, which we need. Some people get a power supply with a kill switch um, on it. And um, uh, Todd's Nerd Cave, I believe, has the scoop on a good one. There's a cheap one on Amazon that people have been saying creates a power drain, uh, which you don't want to do. So don't do that. Um, yeah. These are little plastic feet. And here it is in a static bag. This is the fan that was recommended by some folks on, again, the Smoke Monster 
Discord. They helped me with, with everything really when it came to this. So I am really muddling my way through this. Um, and again, this is because I haven't seen anybody really show this stuff um, on camera. And so that's really why I wanted to. So, um, and this guy, this is the USB hub. This is a $6 little USB hub from Amazon. Um, but it's confirmed to work, this maker spot little USB hub. Which is good for, you know, getting extra controllers and stuff on there, obviously. Download the system C. I don't need the system C. So you can see here, that's where the RAM board goes on one of these sides. Once I have it, that's where that'll go. And um, you got the micro USB and mini USB, uh, mini and micro, HDMI, power supply. So this guy is, this is the guy that I think is going to sort of unseat the Raspberry Pi. Um, I have a problem, which is that by default, this will not let me mount the fan. So, um, I'm going to have to order a, uh, probably a 3D printed top piece so I can mount the fan, but I can still put the heat sink on. But first we need to take this off so we can get access to the FPGA, which is that sort of big chip right there. So I can't mount the fan, but I can put the heat sink on. And the other thing is, I just found out that this plug, apparently, or any of the plugs that this fan comes with, won't mount, um, or sorry, won't plug in to the Nano without an adapter cable. So I'm going to have to order one of those. Um, and I'm going to cut a, um, a piece of cardboard to temporarily work as a fan mount. That's my plan for now. Um, but just to get this thing up and running, we're going to put the heat sink on. And then we're going to make sure we can get it up and running and play some of the games that don't require the RAM or any of that stuff. Just to give you, again, a basic idea of, you know, how generally easy it is. Sinks I got uh, came with a cable tie for some reason. It's convenient, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna put a link to everything that I got. Um, Amazon links in the description. I don't have an affiliate thing, so they're not affiliate links. You don't have to click them to give me money or whatever. It's not, it's not that kind of deal, at least not yet. <laughs> also, I have nine extra heat sinks if anyone needs one. Because uh, they only come in packs of 10. And I have a bunch of extra wires for this fan, too. I'll probably give them away on Smoke Monsters Discord. Because I have no use for them. So, what we want to do is use this as thermal tape. So, if you get heat sinks for this, you got to make sure to get ones that have thermal tape included with them. Um, and then it goes spiky side up. So, we're sticking it right right to the chip there with the thermal tape It. So when I have a fan mount, the fan will go there, and this is not an exhaust fan, it's a cooling fan, so you want it blowing onto the chip, not, not exhausting out. 
So when I get a mount, I'm gonna put that there. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and screw that back on just to be sure. I'm not snugging those down super hard um, because I don't want to crack the. Okay, so it's just about as assembled as it's gonna get right now. This guy's gonna go in there. So, that's where we're at for now. It comes with the SD card. Um, I mentioned that earlier, I think. So what we need to do now is get the software and the cores and everything on there. So we're gonna jump over to the computer and then we are going to um, see if we can't get some games running on this, on this bad mamma jamma. So here we have it. Um, this is a piece of cardboard. That's a hot tip from someone in the Smoke Monster Discord. Just so the fan has a place to mount. And I'm getting a 3D printed piece to replace that and one to go on the bottom as well. So that's uh, pretty exciting. I also don't have the RAM board yet, so I can't show you all of the cores because there's several, including the NES, Super NES, um, stuff like that that needs the RAM board, but the 3D printed cover piece I'm getting will allow room for the RAM board as well. But uh, for now, this is, this is working totally fine. So let's play some games. All the cores I was able to test seemed to work well. The only issues I had were some cores didn't have sound, but only when running through my capture card. To my TV, they work fine. And on a personal level, some of the vertically oriented arcade games don't run in the right aspect ratio when on a horizontal monitor. But otherwise, things are working really well. So yeah, that's about it. I will have links in the description for the quick start guide, like I said, and all of the stuff that I use to get this running. Now, there is some variation on what people will choose to use or not, but um, I'll link the, the fan I used, the USB hub that I'm using, the uh, cables that I got to connect the fan to the board, the heatsink, all, all of that stuff. Um, I've had luck with every USB controller I've tried so far, which includes a Xbox 360 wired controller, no problems there, and my Mayflash uh, arcade stick, USB arcade stick, no problems there. People have reported that the 8-bit uh, do retro receiver, the USB one, works fine with all the 8-bit do 
stuff. Uh, I don't have a retro receiver, so I uh, haven't been able to test that out, but everything's, you know, worked pretty well for me. There were some struggles that I had, which hopefully with this video and some other stuff you find online, you can avoid. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think that eventually this is going to take the place of the Raspberry Pi in a lot of cases. Now it is a little more expensive. I'm about $200 all in on this thing, but for the versatility of it, there are new cores coming out every day. In fact, as of recording this, uh, a Joust arcade core just dropped, which I haven't had a chance to get up and running, and the Odyssey 2 core just dropped this weekend as well. So new stuff is getting added all the time. The Super NES core is like relatively recent. It's just, it's, it's a huge, thing that a lot of people are working on there's rumors that people are working on a neo geo core and uh, pc engine works and people are working now on the pc engine cd stuff which is great but you know i'm gonna take this thing home for christmas uh to have the option to play games with, with friends and stuff um, i'm probably gonna take it to work at some point to be able to spend some time playing games with, with friends at work on lunch and stuff like that so that's the big boon for me is the portability and the versatility of it and, and you know i i think it's totally worth it and yeah uh huge huge shout out and thank you to everybody in the smoke monster discord i really again just could not have done it without a lot of those folks and if you're thinking about doing this and you want a community that's really going to help you go over to smoke monsters patreon give them a buck and you get into the discord and you know that's that's going to be a huge resource for you so um, if you have any questions, certainly feel free to ask in the comments. I don't know that I'll have every answer, but I can maybe direct you to somebody who can or direct you in the right place. But again, Smoke Monster and his Discord have been invaluable to me in this process. Hey folks, thanks for watching my attempt to build a mister. I hope it helped, and uh, even if it was just in the realm of what not to do. If you liked what you saw, Give a like, subscribe, do all that stuff that every other YouTuber asks you to do, and I'll see you on the next one.